Welcome to the IT advisory video for software installations and deployments. Now this is one of the things that you will need as a IT person. You need to know how to do things remotely, how to deploy a software to make your job easy and also to do your job correctly because sometimes you may come across a project where you need to deploy a fix to probably 300 to 1000 machines if you're at that level um, maybe level two level three or maybe you are level one it does not matter it may be you are working in a company where they are using something like sccm now sccm this is the thing that you will need um, to impress your interviewer and this is going to be the person who is taking your technical interview i will tell you that in a windows environment i would say 90 percent of the people know about sccm so you can say other softwares too like you know we discussed about pdq which is also pretty famous now um, but sccm is gonna hold this value because it's a pretty big software and it is not just a deployment tool it has a lot of features os deployments many other things i mean it's a pretty um it's a, it's a world of its own kind of thing and you can also land a job just to become a sccm administrator in some cases and they pay pretty good because this is a unique job not many people are going to be offering it so when you get it it's going to be something that uh, is going to be you know just you're just working as an expert or like becoming an SCCM type of administrator and only working on deployments and the mass deployments and doing all that kind of stuff now as you can see by just going to indeed.com and putting a keyword you can see every helpless position even an entry level position uh, they are putting SCCM in there in some cases right here remote knowledge of software using SCCM sorry about that remote knowledge of uh, you know using uh, SCCM right here so you can see this is a pretty important topic and you go all the way down all these uh, look at these titles every everything is associated with it help IT help this user help this end user help the support SCCM and Active Directory remember the Active Directory <laughs> I don't know if you are still thinking about Active Directory you're going to do it then you know this is going to be really hard for you so make sure you do the Active Directory training um, and you can see I, I can go all the way down there and, and people are going to be asking you about do you know anything about SCCM and if you say something about like okay yeah I know about PDQ I know this deployment tools other things that's that's still a good answer because you are comparing between these two and you know the differences um, so you know actually you know this term you know this technology you know this whatever Microsoft is offering so this means that you are a technical person because you know a little bit about it if someone asks you okay do you know about software deployment or have you done any software deployments I'm not talking about just going to the computer and install the software I'm actually talking about software deployment now if you cannot answer that then it's going to be kind of a little bit um, you know I, w I wouldn't say bad but it's going to be a negative uh, in front of other person who will come to your same interview and they can talk about PDQs SCCM and things like that so what what is my advice in this session now in your lab session in in your lab access premium access you get to access a full certifications from Microsoft for SCCM now this is not something that you're going to be, be putting your time in it because you will never end your help desk course then so what I would suggest is go to the 7243 in that you can see right here administering deploying applications monitor application deployments then this one manage software library and applications catalog create and monitor software updates if you do all these four these are just four labs um, task and you can finish it pretty quickly deploy an MSI that is going to give you such a good hands-on experience on SCCM at the help desk level that you will have no issue when you go to interview and talk about SCCM because you have done it over here and of course you're going to be in your course where you're finishing software deployment with PDQ and then there again I'm ahead of video software deployment SCCM it is a pretty older video so this is why I suggest you do that lab because it is going to refresh this video when you watch it and this will be my advice for you to really go for software deployment and try SCCM because if you are going to land a job you want to be talking about some known terms known softwares known features and one of this is going to be SCCM when you talk about it people are going to respect it in a Windows environment
So while you have access to these labs, you can also use group policy to practice uh, about software deployments. Like for example, in this server, like any domain controller server in your environment, when you open it, you can actually go to tools. In tools, you'll go to group policy management. In group policy management, you see this is your default group policy. You'll expand that and then you can create new policies and create let's say for example a software settings and here you can see software installations now of course for this you need to search a little bit more on Google try to see how to deploy a software through group policy I have showed that in other sessions also but if you want to really really learn more you can you can do the Google you'll find a lot of YouTube videos and then you can use domain controller which is this is your domain controller this is your member server all of these are connected so if you go to your active directory here you will see how many machines you can practice the group policy installation on these are all your machines in this lab or any other lab that you open you will see the machines that are associated with that lab so windows 10 8 and many other machines you can install and deploy softwares and this would be also something that you can do in this session so you will have pdq secm group policy deployment i mean this is like something that you can even go for system admin jobs when you finish all these things because this is exactly what a junior system admin would do and even at senior level they're just more advanced with their troubleshootings and stuff like that but at basic level you're doing everything like that and remember one of our goals is not to just make you help us and just make you land a job our goal is to make you think and do things like a system admin so you make your life easy and then the transition is easy for you also our goal is to make your uh, your your career uh, grow we don't want you to stay in one place thank you